Hello, it's Mark from Lightmap, and I'm going to show you how to edit a single light on the HDRI map using the new composites. And this is something that wasn't possible before. So here we've got some studio lighting that we've created for this vehicle. And if we just uh, turn off a load of these lights and just kind of so we can see what we're doing, we've got this base HDRI map that is providing some kind of base ambient lighting. And then if we concentrate here on this overhead softbox, we can see that it has a couple of brighter regions on the softbox. And we've been able to create these with the help of the composite. So if I edit this overhead softbox composite, we can see that what we have in here is a softbox that we placed. And then we have a couple of round lights and they are using blend mode Amplify. Now Amplify will boost the brightness of the pixels. It's essentially a multiply, but it's adding one into that equation. So it boosts the brightness of existing pixels. So if the uh, light has a value of zero, then you add one and multiply that together and that will be the same brightness as it is already. Therefore any value higher than zero will begin to boost uh, what is underneath it. So in this context this light here is uh, amplifying the brightness of the underlying values. And then we created another one here. So I'll turn this off and if we just look at this view here we can see that this overhead softbox isn't creating a lot of character in the reflection. It's looking a little bit flat. So we've used these two bright areas that we placed uh, using light paint and we were able to boost these regions that we wanted uh, and then it creates a lot more character in that reflection and makes it more dynamic. Now if we had not done this within a composite then the uh, boosting effect of these lights would have spilled over onto the base HDR. So if I release these from the composite and we look at our lighting design here, we can now see this in action here. So if I uh, take this light and I really boost it, you can see that it's overlapping and it's boosting everything around it. And if I do the same here, so we are not affecting this single light. So by taking the softbox and the round lights and merging those into a composite, we now see that the lighting effect affects only the lights within the composite, which is really great. Now, by default, the blend mode for the composite light is set to add. If we change that to over, we will regain our nice uh, dark edge to this softbox. And I'll just drag this down the lighting design. We have our original composite that is now empty, so we can delete that. We had a, a rear softbox here where we did exactly the same thing and we had the softbox and it was looking a little bit flat in these reflections so we created this round light to amplify an area of it and it makes it a lot more dynamic so that looks really good. And if we just turn on all the other lights in here You can see we've got some really nice lighting for this shot and we were able to get a lot more uh, dynamic reflections in these um, softboxes by using composites. So that shows you how you can use a composite to edit and adjust a single light on the HDRI map in HDR Light Studio.